I'm being educated about my gender identity. How, how many gender identities are there in nature? How, how many gen, how many genders are in a lion? Oh, oh my goodness. How many genders do a monkey have? How many genders do a zebra have? How come human beings are the only one with gender fluidity? Amen. Only reason why we have why people say they have multiple genders because they have reason themselves to align. Well, no, there's clownfish, there's snails, which are hermaphrodites. Humans have intersectionality. They What's are a hermaphrodite? Something that's male and female. Okay, don't, that's two. You're making you're further making my point. Tell me something with three or four or five genders. Hermaphrodite is a type of sex where you have combined chromosomes of male and female. Of what? Male and female. That's true. The moment you realize you didn't do your due diligence. So I looked into the whole clownfish thing more because I love the movie Nemo. And it turns out when a clownfish's reproductive partner dies, that clownfish turns into a female. And so in the movie Nemo, the mom dies and then Marlin should have turned into a woman. And all of them start out as men, but they can change sex throughout their life. But there's still only two genders. He just totally pulled a you know reverse card on her and she was so confused. They look kind of like the girls that didn't make the cheer squad. There's a lot of competition to make the team this year, so bring your best. Oh no, what is she doing here? I guess she wants to try out. We're queer. We're here. We're not going anywhere. We're queer. We're here. We're not going anywhere. Stop, stop, stop. I'm speechless. That sucked. A few moments later in the protest, she gets very angry because somebody used her wrong pronoun and she points to her pin saying that she is a man. And I just feel that they already have so much space to be liberal and free that it's just kind of why are they yelling or protesting about it because everybody is already accepted to it. So it's kind of like, okay, you're queer, you're there. That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, you can sing your songs if you want. Please, please stop yelling at me. <laughs> I'm here to tell you guys that I am mad and I am very mad. And uh, yep, that's all I had to say. It's so funny how the thing got stuck. Like he's trying to pull it and he just can't get it unstuck because he's stealing the entire display too, not just the product. He's like taking the whole display. Hey mom, me and a couple friends are going to a peaceful protest. I'll be back before 10. Love you. Wow, wow, wow. So you recently uh, you, you uh, announced your economic independence plan. Uh, meanwhile, we've seen what Biden continues to do. I love how she's chasing after him saying don't touch me don't hit me don't hit me hey come back here don't hit me hey why are you not trying to hit me you should try to hit me so I can be angry about that she kind of looks like the girl from sadness and it kind of makes me feel sad for her don't touch me trying to touch you why are you touching me trying to touch you stop touching me trying to touch you like what on day one we take all Biden regulations and executive orders and throw them in the trash can I love how she thought that the police was gonna be on her side it's like you tell him officer he is being very naughty <laughs> Biden now we have to have an economy where people work hard, play by the rules, get the most out of their God-given ability.
raise a family, buy a home, afford a car, do all those things. If the economy doesn't work for those middle class families, we are not going to succeed as a country. So everything we're going to be doing is going to be focused on... Um, I love that he gave her the option to complain. He's like, you can just go put your complaint over there. <laughs> it's like, why are you recording me? She has her phone in his face like he's doing something bad. And I have mad props to this cop for sticking his ground, standing up, and he's standing up for what's right. And I think that that is pretty cool. I have this one coworker who simply refuses to use the correct pronouns for me. I've called her out every time she miss- Wait a second, she simply refuses as in free speech? What? Genders me and she just is resigned to not change. And today just broke something in me. I just snapped. I ended up yelling at her after the third oh. time she misgendered me and within like 30 minutes, like they, they- the third time within 30 minutes, she's like sitting there with a the log. She's like, that's misgender one, that's misgender two. And that you first misgendered me at 922. And with only five minutes apart, you have misgendered me twice. And then the other worker's just like, hey, do you know where the chicken nuggets are? We're supposed to have like the number five out like 20 minutes ago. The customer is really angry. And uh, then she's like, wait, did you somehow just misgender me? And she's like, where's the chicken nugget? Hey, I use they, them pronouns. At that point, my boss, who claims to be so woke and like happy and joyous and making a safe, positive environment for everybody, gangs up on me with her and says like, this is, Carson, like, shut up. This is not the time for a political statement. It's kind of like, if everybody else is the problem, maybe at some point it could be ourselves. Hmm, that's a interesting idea. Okay to transition children? to Christianity. <laughs> no. Okay, so you can't force your kids to be a certain religion. You can't teach them morals and stuff, yet you can tell them that they are gay or that they need a transition or they're not normal. You're still pushing your beliefs onto them. It's just one of them is horrible. No matter if I'm a, if I am gay or a lesbian or any of that, she doesn't care. All she cares about is that I'm a part of it. And if I'm not a part of it, she'll try to convince me to uh, um, get, join it. Cause I- What? Are you saying right now? Facts. That I would convince you to join what? The LGBTQIA- Oh dang, that kid is very intelligent. I dare you to try and stop me from going into a women's <laughs> bathroom. I dare you to try and stop a transgender woman in my presence ah. from using the bathroom. Do so you guys want to play a game of truth or dare? Yeah, sure. I'll go first, truth or dare. I'll choose dare. I dare you to try to stop me from using the woman's bathroom. It almost sounds like you want me to try to stop you from using the women's bathroom. Please stop. Uh, either she, her, or they, them. What does they, them mean? Uh, pretty much when I'm feeling more of not gender confined. I don't understand how they them could be not gender confined when isn't they them referring as a plural to multiple people. It's like I'm going with them and there's just one person standing over there. It's like, what do you mean you're going with them? There's just one person. Yeah, but they're different people because they identify as different things. No, I'm sorry, but you are one person. Like pretty much no gender. I choose to go by they them. So you don't feel like a gender sometimes. Pretty much, like, I'm still questioning what my gender is, like... So how does that process work? Um, pretty much just, I'm playing around with different gender <laughs> identities and different pronouns until I figure out exactly which one. And so some days you feel like a what, and some days you feel like a what? Some days I feel she, her, other days, like today, I'm feeling more no gender. That guy was actually very nice to ask questions questions and just inquiry kindly about what happens inside her brain and i like the fact that she admits she's like you know i'm just kind of playing around right now please become a friend scriber so you don't miss out on any new videos i'll see you next time bye